Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. NFT founder discusses new features, NFT inclusivity on Hedera. Okay, so as you know, NFTs were something that really came big in the last bull market. And I think NFTs are just in a quite a strange space at the moment. I think people are really like dismissing NFTs, right? Because we're currently in, um, I don't know if we call it a bear market. If it's not, it's definitely not a bull market. But wherever we are, we might be somewhere in between, like maybe going into a bull market. But we're definitely not in a bull market right now. And because obviously a lot of value is dropped from NFTs, I think a lot of people are just looking at them as like more of like a scam. But I think this is the thing with NFTs. It's just like art. It's really worth whatever people are willing to pay, right? Like I know when it comes to art, you can look at certain pictures and you'll hear like, oh, this picture's worth, you know, like $10,000. And you'll think, I would never pay that kind of money for that, right? But there are other people who are. There are other people who will appreciate art and it's it's subjective, right? Some people may look at it and think, oh my God, this is incredible and have their own like think pieces on it. Whereas other people may look at it and just think, I can't even really figure out what that's supposed to be or like what it's relating to. So I think it's the same with NFTs. I think the reason why there's a lot of um, uncertainty around them at the moment is just simply because they're new. And again, when it comes to this digital stuff, the same as crypto, people don't really understand it and they feel what they don't understand. So they just make it out like it's nothing. You know, at first crypto was called magic internet money, right? But this magic internet money that people want to call it has made people millionaires. So how magic really is it, right? Like it sounds good when you're just dismissing it and stuff like that until you start seeing the cogs turn and the adoption coming in and it becomes a viable thing that actually helps the world, right? It actually has great benefits for the world. So I think it's the same for NFTs. So I'm going to be honest, I haven't heard of NFT before, so this is going to be something new for me. So I'm not exactly sure what this article is going to be relating to. But in terms of NFT inclusivity, I think that's good because, as I say, I do think going forward in the future years to come, NFTs will be a big deal. I really do. I think NFTs are going to be a huge thing in the long term. I think NFTs are going to be just like baseball cards like pokemon cards that kind of thing people trading them around selling them that kind of stuff people having their own personal nfts and things like that artists making nfts you know celebrities making nfts i think there will be a huge deal so for me i think it's good in terms of trying to get into this space early and trying to make nfts more accessible i think it's a good idea because i really do think they'll be big in the future but let's get into the article and then we can discuss this further the NFT platform makes data approachable for everyone in the Hedera community by translating metrics from over 3,000 NFT collections indexed from the Hedera network into simple charts that are accessible from an intuitive, easy to understand user interface. We chatted with NFT founder Michael Cantor about everything from why he built the all in one NFT tool, newly launched and free features, including alerts and advanced analytics and how Hadira makes it all possible. Check out the interview and the TLDR video that covers NFTs new features below. So I'm gonna ignore that just for copyright reasons, but let's get into here where we've got some more information from the interview. So THF, which I'm assuming is the HBAR Foundation. Uh, thanks for joining us, Michael. Can you speak a bit about the genesis of NFT? Michael Cantor said, NFT is an all-in-one tool for Hedera NFT collectors that provides the community with a smart contract launch pad, rarity engine, customized alerts, and advanced analytics insights. But our goal isn't just to give people data, it's to give everyone the ability to see and understand NFT metrics, define which they value most, and make data-driven decisions about which project they'd like to support. Like a lot of people, when I was buying my first NFT, the first question I had was, quote, how do I value what I'm about to buy, unquote. And the tools available at that time either didn't exist or were prohibitively expensive. The HBAR Foundation then said, and how does that experience figure into the company ethos? Michael Cantor replied, Put simply, we want to help everyone build emotionally satisfying collections that are also packed with value. 
on top of all the data from sale price and floor price to volume and rarity, and the thousands of other metrics people weigh differently. There's also a lot of emotion behind any NFT decision. Our community can use analytics to ensure they're not getting the short end of the stick on price and for those who really love the NFTs they own, they can even head to our in-app print shop which enables NFT printing from your collection onto stickers, canvases and t-shirts. The HBAR Foundation said, Nice. Are there any new features to help people reach those collection goals? Michael Cantor replied, Two new features are our, quote, listings tool, unquote, and customizable alerts. Listing tool enables people to spot when a large increase in listings occurs in near real time and provides a one-click purchase button to take advantage of deals across the Hedera NFT ecosystem. It's perfect for anyone who wants to spot and stay ahead of trends. Customized alerts enhance your ability to stay ahead of the curve. Alerts enables users to receive notifications via email, Discord, or their web browser to track metrics like average sale price, percent of listed NFTs, volume, total sales, and number of holders. Going forward, we plan to enable you to track virtually any account and get notified of their sales, listings, and transfers. This service is virtually free. Each notification debits 0.05 HBAR or our tier token depending on which currency you have set on your profile. We've also made access to parts of our advanced analytics platform free to everyone. Now anyone can check out the quote overview unquote and quote collections unquote tabs to easily view and track things like market cap, volume, holders and sales insights for any collection on the platform. The HBAR Foundation asked, can you tell us more about the extent of advanced analytics suite of tools? Michael Cantor replied, in my mind, advanced analytics is the gateway into the world of Hedera NFTs. It allows collectors to browse metrics from the 3000 plus tokens that we've indexed from the hash graph, providing actionable insights so that when you're buying, selling and minting NFTs, you're not doing it blind. And for creators, Advanced Analytics opens up a whole new world of possibilities when it comes to rewards and promotions. They can see things like who's buying, how much they're buying, and how long they're holding. All of this data is exportable to CSVs, so they can easily store and manage this information and quickly drop it all in an airdrop tool if they want to reward the most loyal members of their communities. The HBAR Foundation said, Okay, we're sold. How would we go about accessing the in-depth analytics platform? Michael Cantor replied, Right now, some features are token gated and everything is integrated in a collection called, quote, Wokefems, unquote. Owning an NFT from this collection gets you access to advanced analytics, a mode from our suite of Discord bots, discounted slash allow list access to many of our mints even free mints that we do from time to time, 20% discounts in our print shop, and the ability to vote on key ecosystem events like which collections we should feature on our homepage. For anyone who isn't in the position to purchase a quote, woke fems unquote NFT, but still wants to deep dive into the analytics, we have another utility NFT collection called Databots. That's a little bit cheaper and works on a renewable subscription style basis. And works, on a re and works on a renewable subscription style basis. Databots provides many of the same features of quote woke fems unquote and you can recharge it for 285 hbar per month. The hbar foundation said there's a ton of utility packed into those collections. Okay last one let's close with an open-ended question. Why Hedera? Michael Cantor replied that's an easy one. Ease of use. When we were first asked to build on Hedera, my response was, quote, I don't know if we can. I don't know too much about it, but we'll take a look, unquote. And two hours later, we had our first rarity listing up for a Hedera collection. Hedera's technology is unique.
because instead of everything being behind some sort of ERC721 smart contract, I can go through an API to pull all of this data and create these tokens as a quote, first class citizen, unquote, was insanely attractive and interesting. Of course, Hedera has smart contracts too, which enables trustless programmatic logic, which we have in our launchpad smart contracts. But the fact that we have these native things is the key selling point because you can query these things without spinning up a node. It all lives on the network itself. And while the tech is what brought me into Hedera, the community is what keeps me here. The builders and creators on Hedera are building real products and real businesses that help drive a lot of the ecosystem's value and inspire us all at NFTA to keep building new tools to help everyone realize their visions. Okay, cool, nice. So there you go. It's more just a thing of being able to keep metrics in regards to NFTs. So if you are someone who's really into NFTs, you like building up a collection and stuff like that, this is gonna be the type of app for you. Sounds really cool to me. I think it's gonna be useful for people who are gonna be looking to get into NFTs as a big thing if someone's a real big collector and they wanna you know, get many different types of NFTs and stuff like that and they're gonna be building up quite a collection, then this sounds like it's gonna be useful for you. Again, the thing for me is like, just hear what they were saying about Hadira, how positive they were. Again, just speaks volumes to how much people really do like Adira and how easy it is for people. That's a good thing because again, it just lets you know in the future when average people are coming in, they will have ease of use as well in regards to using the network. So again, it just shows you you know how accessible it should be in the future as well and again it was the it was the network of choice so i think this is really good and as i say i think nfts will be a big deal in the future so getting on top of this kind of thing like this now i think is only going to serve for a good thing in the future i think it's going to serve you up in a good position because i do think long term nfts will be a big deal so this is kind of the thing where for people who are going to be big collectors of nfts it's going to be very useful for them so this service is something that's going to be probably very beneficial for those kinds of people so good stuff to see here really nice so if you guys are interested in that you've got the details there it's nft at the company i haven't actually got anything there that tells you about their social media presence but i'm sure if you maybe look on x nft you'll probably be able to find them so give them a quick check out if this is something that you're interested in but yeah great stuff to see here real good stuff to see and again just more praise to hedera so that's always a good thing to see right but what do you guys think? NFT are releasing their product for NFTs. Do you think this is a good thing? Is this something that you're going to be interested in from what you've heard? Would you maybe subscribe to their subscription? Or is this something that you're not really that interested about and don't really think is that big a deal or would do anything for HBAR overall? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.